Hey guys, it's Kara with the bag holder and we're gonna do something a little different today. Today I am behind the camera, but I'm gonna show you how to make a meal. It's vegetable beef soup, so easy. I don't make it in the bag holder, but I do use it to store my leftovers or you can freeze this. Make it, freeze it until you're ready to use it. So I had to share it with you. Now this is what you need. Ground beef, about a pound. That V8 juice, now you can use the big jug of V8 juice or I'm going to use four cans of V8, which is about 44 ounces, so 44 to 52 ounces, I think the big one comes in, is just fine. You've got chopped garlic, Italian seasoning, whole potatoes, and if you prefer not to use canned potatoes, feel free to use whole fresh potatoes and it would be about one and a half pounds. Now they do need to be pre-cooked so that you can keep the speed of the meal. We've got diced tomatoes. These have basil, garlic, and oregano. That's half of the seasoning right there that would be here. So I like it, it just adds an additional flavor. Do not drain the tomatoes, but do drain the potatoes. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Um, we've got seasoning blend. You know I keep these in my freezer all the time. This has celery, peppers, and onions ready to go. I've got that. And then I've got my vegetable soup mix. I love okra, so I have ones with okra and tomatoes in it. Now I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put together, and I'll give you a few pointers. I am going to add my ground beef to the pot. I'm going to scooch you guys over here. I'm not real good at maneuvering video yet, so I can't do any fancy bringing it in and editing it. But I will tell you my hints to cooking. I'm going to add the ground beef just like that. I'm going to start to add the tomato juice and I'm gonna double time it. I add all of this together. I don't wait, I don't cook the ground beef and then add anything. There's no reason because I'm gonna let it stew for a while. This is also something you can do in your crock pot but I just like it here and then when I'm done with it, um, before I serve it for dinner, I'm gonna have to store this pot in my fridge, but I'm gonna cook it all up now and let it cook for about an hour. I do the same thing with my spaghetti. When I have ground beef and sausage, I add all my seasonings and flavorings in with the spaghetti um, sauce and meat so that I can uh, minimize the steps and I don't have to sit over it. So now I'm adding garlic. I've got my four cans, like I said, of um, I'm adding a teaspoon of garlic. I've got my four cans of V8, which is what I added. I've got my pound of ground beef. Now I've got my teaspoon of garlic, and I'm going to do a teaspoon of Italian seasoning because you remember my tomatoes have seasoning in it too, so that helps me out there a little bit. I'm going to add my can of potatoes. And if I had my trash can, if I would have prepared, I would ha be throwing half of this stuff away. I'm going to throw in my can of diced tomatoes. Very simple. Now I'm gonna do about a quarter of a cup because you know my family does not like onions so I have to sneak it in so I can blend it in with the, I'll just say it's garlic. Um, but I'm gonna do about a half a cup. And you see how these look? I'm gonna show you this pot in just a second. I mean a quarter cup, sorry about that. When I work and talk I don't get as much done. And now I'm going to add the entire bag of vegetables. Um, now, if you want to do fresh, this is great. You can do okra, green beans, corn, squash, zucchini. It's the base, really, that's the, the key. The V8 juice with the garlic and the onions. You can do this, um, the garlic, onion, celery, as well as Italian seasoning. That's your base. So I'm going to show you this very quickly. See how all this comes together? Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I've got my oven or my stove on medium high. I'm going to pop a top on it and then I'm going to cook it for about an hour. Now I'm going to stir it occasionally, but I don't have to look after it because I know my meat's not going to burn. I don't have to worry about the splatter of the grease, but it's going to cook. And the tomatoes are going to make my ground beef so tender. Anytime you use tomatoes from soups and stews to, to pot roast, you it's going to make your meat do. Um, what? the stew looks like. This has only been about seven minutes since I turned the video off. I popped the top on and I let it cook for about seven minutes and if I wasn't talking you'd be able to hear it kind of boiling on the bottom because there were cold ingredients added. But look at it already. This is what this thick stew is going to look like. Now the ground beef of course is going to cook but I'm going to serve this with a grilled ham and cheese sandwich 
and it's going to be a fantastic meal. And anything left, of course, I'm going to use the bag holder to pour all my leftovers in and then freeze it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it again. So you guys have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.